What up? It's exact light. And today I'm gonna be giving you my hundredth subscriber special. Now, um basically I'm just gonna be teaching you just how to make a one clip edit that isn't too complicated and looks quite smexy. So I'm gonna teach it to you from a beginner's point of view, so like your first time opening Sony Vegas may have to be in two different videos because it may take a while for you guys, for you newcomers. Um, so I'm gonna get straight into it and start off and show you how to take a clip into Sony Vegas. Right, so you head over to the top where it says File, click Import, then you click on Media, and then choose the clip that you want to change slash edit. I, I've chosen this one. Let me just play it for you. Good job, team. Get ready for the next round. I just need quite a sweet trick shot. Um, something that editors underestimate, uh, well, mainly crap editors, but they mainly underestimate color corrections. Some people leave it blank, but I cannot stand them in one clip edit, so I'm going to teach you a color correction here now. Um, pause the video once you've seen what my settings are. So for this one, for example, you drag go to brightness and contrast and video effects. Scroll down to the, uh, click on default. Shit, no, don't do that at all. You click, drag on default, and then copy the copy these settings. And once you've done that, you want to go down to color curves, the color corrector, drag on default, copy near enough, copy these settings. So that's like slightly into the red and yellow, this one the same, and this one slightly more into it. And then copy the settings at the bottom 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, and 0. You can click the X at the top. And the last bit is a color curve, drag on default, and then copy the lines, those lines there. And as you can see, the video is completely changed in color. Nothing, like, it's not sewed it down, it's completely made it look completely nice. Completely, I don't know why I'm saying that too much, I'm going to stop saying that. Um... So now we've got our color correction, you want to click on your clip and press the U button on your keyboard. This will unfreeze the clips and you so you can drag about the uh, audio. And because I know there's a little squeaky kid in here at some point. Good job, team. Get ready for the next round. I can't have that because of the background noise. Um, so yeah, if you are like me and editing a trick shot clip, um, click on the timeline, click on your clip, and then go to the very start, put your finger on the S key but don't actually press it and then pressing the right arrow on your keyboard will take it frame by frame and you want to wait until you can just see the hit marker so there and now you want to completely skip this so you come into the slow-mo bit and then when you first see the hit marker here with a round winning kill above it I know I've missed, I think I will put it there because that's near enough where the other one was. You drag the middle clip out, pull it, click it and drag it inwards and then it should look something like this. Um, well if you don't know what I did there, I held down the control button, clicked the side and pulled it, then it will slow it down like in slow motion. Now you can go along to the clip up here and press the delete button, which is in a clump of six with the insert, delete, home and end button and page up and down. Once you've done that, you want to try and get, um, well, from what I usually do, I try and get dubstep. Some sort of dubstep slash some with drop, so it's easier to put into it. I think I'm going to have to go with too much to choose from. I'm gonna go by a Harry Potter one actually. I've never actually listened to this. 
Well, I take it that's not you're up there. No, there. Do you want to? Do you want to sink it right to where the gap in the media is? So it's as you can see, it's just there. And you want to click the audio and drag it all the way into it. Go to the very end of the clip and drag it to where the clip stops. So it'll be about there. And I'll take it all back. Make sure you don't take it this clip there. Put it into the split in the audio as you have there. And therefore. So not really a sync actually. That wasn't very good at all. Let's get this media back in one piece. I want the better drop at the start, which I take there is. Well better had it been, otherwise it's a really bad sound that. We'll put that there. There we go. I think that is gonna be the best drop we're gonna get out of this song. Honestly I don't think it's this good. Um it's just in the mouth. That's much better. So now we'll quickly go to import media. Um, editing Sony Vegas, you definitely need one of these and editing pack. Um, I would head over to Jacob's channel, link in the description. His edit impact is insane and full of everything you'll need. Um, let's have actually let's put one of these in. Um, what map is this? Oh crap, I can't remember. Uh, what? Oh damn it, I'll have to quickly check. I feel like such a twat. How can I not remember what it's called? No, not rundown. Not Afghan. I know it's not that. Is it derail? Oh yes, Favela. Uh uh. Why would I want some guy jumping? Come on, J Craft. Give me the one I need. What does take for Valor for? I don't really care really. So we'll just go to import media, libraries, videos, editing back, cinematics, MW2, Favela 4, plop that perfectly there. And you want to click U on the clip to drag and remove that. Delete that. And then here we go. And now I need to add the color correction to it again. Fuck, this is going to be a shit tutorial. I don't care. Blah, blah. Blah, blah, Let's have a look. Alright, that look doesn't look too bad at the moment, so I'm going to import us the gun sound for it, which is also in Jacob's editing pack because he's that nice to you. We'll add the explosion and put it right at the top there. And the, this slider here, volume decibels, put it right up.